I've been noticing a lot of heresy going on on YouTube, on people's YouTube channels. Um, I thought I'd speak about this just momentarily. And that is the fact that I saw somebody just absolutely degrading and bashing the Apostle Paul and trying to take words and trying to give meanings to him and apply it to him as some sort of heretic. There's so many lies, and believe me, I have found out all of this corruption that's going on with these gigantic Christian television networks and the people that they have speak. Heresy is so bad that you better know your Bible backwards and forwards, and you better understand what it says, or you could easily be led down the wrong path. The things that I was just seeing on this Justin Peters channel of all of these people that are on TBN and everything that's going on at Daystar that's nuts. Um, you know, I had hoped to be able to be speaking about the testimony, the gospel message of Jesus. And I literally was completely overlooked because they were so busy pulling their shenanigans behind the scenes. Um, it was really depressing to me because I did a lot of work and, you know, tried to present my work in a professional manner and um, basically was completely ignored by them. So these are some of the things I've been trying to get going behind the scenes to be able to tell the story. And, you know, one of the things that I wanted to point out is some of these top Christian prophecy networks and everything, there's just corruption going on. One of the things that you should be alerted to is that if somebody does have a book and it's leading you directly to Jesus, that's when you know it's okay. But if you've got a channel that is leading you to books that say, um, summoning the demon that is leading you in the opposite direction so where you're reading about the demon instead of being drawn to the Lord those things are really bad news and I just advise anybody to flee from that you know so you're not tainted by it um, there's so much heresy going on I can't even believe it the things that were said about the Apostle Paul were just atrocious lies. And this guy was getting all ranting and raving, saying that he was a heretic and all of this stuff that's absolutely absurd. The things that he was saying about him were just astonishing and horrible. So I wanted to let you know right now that, you know, it was the Lord Jesus who picked the Apostle Paul. He blinded him on the road to Damascus and he couldn't see and the Lord spoke to him and told him what to do. He told him to go to um, Arabia. He was on Mount Sinai where the Lord was revealing himself to him. And then you get some clown on YouTube telling you that the Apostle Paul was a deceiver and all of these lies and heresy and you just can't listen to this stuff it's just astonishing to me how bad it's getting and especially I've noticed I mean just go to Justin Peters and he will just expose all of these heretical people people have been saying that in their church service I think this was at Bethel that angel feathers fell in their service hundreds of times and it, it was just crazy and then like gold dust fell from the sky during the service you know people don't fall for this because the Bible tells us that there's gonna come a time when people will not listen to sound doctrine but they'll want to have their ears tickled 
And you know what that reminds me of is that people don't want to listen to longer videos that tell the history of something or that explains the history mixed with what was going on with the Word of God in the Bible and the history related to it. What they want to do is jump on TikTok and have their ears tickled for 60 seconds. So I don't know how a generation that's, you know, China's trying to get people to have short, short, short attention spans to where, you know, it'll be difficult to learn anything deep and they cannot stand to listen to anything of any length of any time because they've been programmed. The Apostle Paul was chosen by God. And why was he? Because he was one of the top learned Torah scholars there at the Sanhedrin and so the Lord chose him because he knew he would take the gospel message to the rest of the world and he was chosen by the Lord and if you say that he's a heretic then shame on you you know um, you really don't know what you're teaching and talking about I have a little sparrow down here hi honey go get the stuff up there cranberries <laughs> um, I just wanted to warn people about it seems like there's an increase of deception in these last days with the Word of God and trying to pick things out of the Word of God and trying to make it fit um, there was one guy that tried to use the solar eclipse of the date of 4 8 and he tried to say oh that correlates to Exodus 4 8 well, no, it doesn't. It has nothing to do with that. Just because there's a chapter number doesn't mean it corresponds with an eclipse. I've personally been noticing people that come on on their channel, and they always have, I'm going to give you a word. God gave me a word, and here it is. And then you're supposed to listen, and then you're supposed to take it to heart for your own life, whatever they say. You know, that is usually not what I've experienced of how the Lord works. He doesn't just bring a word. You know, if he does reveal something, it's from the scriptures themselves. It's not something like a feel-good message. Like, oh, I see that, you know, oh, the stars are going to lighten up and things are going to go your way. And people have itching ears. They want to hear these good things. So they want to follow them by the droves. And let me just say right here that the vast majority are going down the broad path that leads to destruction. And so there's going to be a lot of following behind those people because people are going to want to listen to them. They want to have their ears tickled. And anything that's pleasing or that... They're like, yeah, man, that's how I feel. <laughs> you know, we have to be really careful in this day and age of what we hear, what we take in and not be deceived. And to me, the worst one of all is all of these televangelists and people on YouTube, even prophecy people and a lot of these pastors that are multimillionaires, I hear them say, sow a seed into the ministry give this much sow a seed okay well i'm here to tell you that that is inaccurate according to the word of god because the seed is not money it's not funds it's not cash and it's not coming to from you into their ministry as a seed the Bible's very clear that the seed is the Word of God. The Word of God. So that is a lie saying, sow a seed into my ministry. Um, why would you be sowing a seed into their ministry when the seed is the Word of God and they're supposed to be the pastor? Does that make any sense? So the seed is God's Word and when it's planted in someone's soul in their heart it sprouts and brings forth life which brings and bears fruit so that's why the Bible says you can 
you know, tell them by their fruit, you could discern what, whether their fruit is good or not good. So the seed is God's word. It's not money. So, you know, we need to know the word of God. We need to know what it says and study it. We can't have a TikTok mentality when it comes to the scriptures. We have to be well studied in the word and listen to sound doctrine. I don't care if it's an hour long video explaining something, but people need to learn. And how are they gonna learn if they have, you know, the attention span of a lizard? And how are they gonna learn if all they ever wanna hear is a 60 second tickling the ear with something super quick and then you move on and what did you really learn? Were you ever closer to the Lord that way? You know, when I have had revelations from the Lord, it's kind of interesting because it kind of peels back one layer after another from the Bible, from the scriptures. And this goes with that, and this opens another door, and this opens another door. But I don't see too many people having that experience. What I see is people going, you know, I got a word for you from the Lord today. Well, here's the word, and then everybody's hanging on their every word. You know, they want to give out a positive message. I get that. But, you know, you can't call yourself prophetic if nothing is prophetic. If everything is just, you know, a feel good, things are going to get better. I've seen this in my head, you know, that kind of thing is just like just be very careful about what is really truly from the Lord because we are in, living in the days of super deception um, some of the things some of those pastors have said are just appalling you know people cackling and doing weird weird things you know and they're mega churches and they rake in millions and millions of dollars they have multiple homes and yet behind the scenes, they are living corrupt lives that are deceiving. And it's the little guys, people like me that, you know, I don't even have a home anymore, okay? But I'm still trying to bring you the word of God as best I can from the Bible, from the scriptures, as faithfully as I can. And when the Lord shows me something, it's not just a word. He always gives me something that's in depth that peels back another layer in the scriptures and helps to explain it that draws me closer, draws you closer to the Lord. You don't want to get all of these books on demons and summoning the demon and all of this stuff. And this is where these ministries are leading people into a broad path because the majority of people, they'll have thousands and thousands of views. And then those that are really giving the truth from the scriptures are being censored so that we hardly have, you know, like a third of those views. Um, I don't know. You know, it's up to you if you follow my channel or not. I'm not forcing anybody to. I certainly don't ever say sow a seed. I have a donation thing. If anybody wants to donate, they can strictly voluntary you know, why would you go around as a christian trashing the apostle paul when the lord jesus chose him to bring the gospel message to the gentiles of the world and now you get these heretics on there saying otherwise so be careful what you hear what you listen to and you know i certainly don't know a whole bunch you know there's just a lot i don't know but, you know, I am an avid researcher. I, you know, wrote a book that is all about Jesus. It's all about revealing him. And that's what you need to focus on. If anything does not focus on drawing you to him, and it's getting you off on, oh, here's a book about Lucifer and his whole history. And, you know, so you're you're dabbling in this stuff 
You're dabbling in summoning the demon. Who needs to do that when you're a Christian? You don't. You need to stay away and, you know, be ye separate, the Lord says. Be holy as I am holy. And so if something's drawing you away from the Lord to study demons or aliens or sensationalism, you know, photographs, thumbnails of an ugly alien face, or it's just all for sensationalism, all for that channel to rake in whatever they want to rake in from people, which is wrong, you know. I am trying with all my heart to share the word of God here and just to make it known to you that there's so much heresy out there that we are living in the worst of times in a lot of ways especially spiritually and these people that are saying these things about the Apostle Paul should not even be teaching because they are completely wrong and completely don't know anything of what they're saying but they're drawing people away from the Lord and saying that the Apostle Paul was some heretic and wove all of this deception in the gospel which he did not so just be careful read your Bible stay close to the word use a Bible concordance and study for yourselves there's numerous concordances, the Strong's and the NAS, um, Thayer's, Greek lexicon, and the Hebrew meaning of the words. So you can't just grab a word here and then go, oh, look at this, this is a deception. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I've been noticing this movement of, I have a word of God for you today. Well, I've never seen God just give one word like that, or one sentence. Usually, it's something that's, hi honey, little sparrow. Usually it's something that peels back the layers within the word of God. So don't be deceived, and remember that the seed is God's word. And that is what falls on the good ground, the good earth, and it takes root and sprouts and raises up a tree that bears good fruit. I get sick and tired of that phrase, sow a seed into this ministry, you know, and the seed is not money. Not at all. I guess I'll just end this today by saying I just wanted you to be aware of these things that are out there and just be careful and keep your heart right with Jesus and don't go off on tangents you know anyway I love y'all thank you for following my channel I have a lot of censorship going on I also have um, my email is jammed up. It won't accept any email in or out. So I don't know if that's affecting my channel because they are not sending me messages that anybody's watching my YouTubes. So I'm trying to delete the, as many emails from the past as I can and promotional material that's jamming up my box. <laughs> anyway, it would be nice to hear from some people I haven't heard from anybody in my mail for it's close to a month. You know, it can be discouraging. It can be really, really discouraging to where you, you feel like, well, I'm not making any difference. So why bother? Nobody wants to hear anything. You know, you want to have a 60 second tickle of your ears. That's fine. You know, I don't have anything against hearing a 60 second something, but there comes a time when you do have to study and you do have to go in depth in the scriptures or you're not going to know anything and you're going to be deceived and led down the broad path that leads to destruction anyway that's just my two cents worth you know um, it's really difficult when you're trying to do the right thing and there's just really hardly any response you know 
So, God bless you guys. I'll talk to you later. And right now it's kind of cooling down. We might get a little rain and it's breezy. Um, I brought some little cranberries out for the sparrows. So they're out here enjoying that. You guys take care now. I'll see ya.